Welcome to Terminology in Healthcare and Public Health Settings. What is Health Information Management and Technology? This unit will focus on terms and concepts associated with health information management and technology. Health Information Technology, or HIT, is the application of information processing involving both computer hardware and software that deals with the storage, retrieval, sharing, and use of healthcare information, data, and knowledge for communication and decision making. The objectives for this unit, what is health information management and technology, are to define and explain the terms and concepts used in the field, understand the terms that frame HIM and HIT practice, describe health IT hardware and software, and define commonly used acronyms and abbreviations. In 1928, an organization was formed devoted to identifying standards in clinical records with the aim of improving patient care. While the American Health Information Management Association, known as AHIMA, continues to endorse this concept, members are educated to promote the benefits of electronic health records as including being patient-centered, comprehensive, longitudinal, accessible, and credible. EHIM refers to this view of the future of electronic health information management. EHR management is a process that encompasses the creation or the receipt of electronic health data, and that information becomes the legal or business record for the healthcare organization. Health information technology is a combination of computer hardware and computer software. We will now describe some of this technology. First, we will discuss software. Health IT software can be developed and acquired from multiple sources. Legacy systems are those systems that have been in place and used by the organization for a period of time. They may be used alone or in combination with other applications. When an organization purchases and implements a system with little or no customization, this is referred to as an off-the-shelf system or turnkey system, a system that is more of a framework for the organization's own customization is often referred to as a vanilla system. Think of it like plain vanilla ice cream before adding the extra toppings that is, the unique features that a particular organization requires. In some cases, organizations may choose to develop their own systems using system designers and programmers who work for the organization rather than buying a commercial system from a vendor. This is often called a homegrown system. When an organization chooses multiple vendors or manufacturers for various components of the health IT system, this is referred to as going best of breed. For example, to pick the best system to meet the unique needs of each department, a pharmacy system might be purchased from one vendor, a documentation system from another, and a laboratory system from yet another vendor. Health information systems integrate information from multiple sources and multiple locations. Therefore, they must run on some sort of network. The type of network chosen for the information system depends on the type of organization and the purpose of the system. The type of network chosen determines the type of data entry devices used in the system and whether they are directly connected through wires and cables or through a wireless system. Smart terminals are data entry devices that generally have extensive memory and house computer applications directly on the computers themselves. Dumb terminals have little or no memory, and most computer applications are accessed through a connection to network servers where the applications are housed. Wireless networks can use smart or dumb terminals. The terminals are not connected directly to the system for access, but access servers and the network wirelessly. Multiple types of data entry and access devices are available that can interact with information system networks. 
Central processing units, or CPUs, are stationary computers that are generally directly connected to the network through computer wire or cable. Tablets are small portable computers that have screens that can be written on, often with a stylus writing device, and are connected to the network wirelessly. Slim clients, also known as thin clients, are also connected small computers. However, slim clients are dumb terminals that do not have any capacity for data storage. The advantage of the slim client is that it assists in maintaining confidentiality and data security. Smaller devices, such as smartphones, are increasingly popular for access to data, information, clinical protocols, and references. Portable devices, such as tablets and smartphones, have been prone to breaches, so it is important that the devices used are kept secure. For example, the devices should be password protected, and if data are stored on them, the data should be encrypted. If wireless devices are not used, the locations for data entry include computer stations in the patient's room, in a hospital, or in the exam room in a doctor's office, a central location such as the nurse's station, or computers on carts that can be wheeled around from room to room. The carts are referred to as COWs or WOWs, which are abbreviations for computers or workstations on wheels. Now let's take a look at some of the most commonly used acronyms in the HIT field. There are a lot of them. Some of them refer to the professional organizations that support HIT. We already mentioned the American Health Information Management Association, but other organizations include the American Medical Informatics Association, or AMIA, and the Healthcare Information and Management Systems Society, known as HIMSS. These organizations and their members are very active in the HIT field. The HIMSS Electronic Health Record Association is a trade association of electronic health record companies working nationally to create and support interoperable electronic health records in hospitals and ambulatory care. Federal government funding agencies supporting HIT include the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality, sometimes called AHRQ, and sometimes called ARC. AHRQ has provided funding for many HIT implementation projects. The Department of Health and Human Services, known as HHS or DHHS. The National Institutes of Health, known as NIH. This is the major government funding source for medical research. And the National Library of Medicine, or NLM. The NLM provided a lot of support for early informatics research. The Institute of Medicine, or IOM, is part of the National Academies of Sciences. The IOM provides advice to the nation on health. Several of the reports on ways to improve patient safety have advocated the use of health IT. The IOM is now known as the National Academy of Medicine. The Health Information Technology for Economic and Clinical Health, or High Tech Act, is legislation that supports the use of health information technology. The major government agency overseeing the high tech initiatives is the Office of the National Coordinator for Health Information Technology. It is usually referred to as just ONC. Two committees that advise the National Coordinator are the Health IT Standards Committee and the Health IT Policy Committee. Establishing standards in health IT is a very important effort right now. Several organizations are involved in these efforts. In addition to the ONC Health IT Standards Committee, there are also other organizations who have received the designation as an ONC Authorized Certification Body. The ONC ACBs perform the actual certification. The accredited testing laboratories in the ONC HIT certification program conduct all the testing for certification. There are other government agencies that are frequently involved with health IT issues. These include the Centers for Disease Control and 
There are other government agencies that are frequently involved with health IT issues. These include the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, abbreviated CDC, and the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, or CMS. Notice that the names of both of these agencies begin with centers, not center. Other agencies are the Food and Drug Administration, known as the FDA, and the Health Resources and Services Administration, or HRSA. The CDC is the major public health agency in the country. The FDA oversees the safety of drugs and devices. According to its website, HRSA is the primary federal agency for improving access to health care services for people who are uninsured, isolated, or medically vulnerable. Other standards development organizations have worked to establish technical standards for electronic health records. These include the Health Information Technology Standards Panel, or HITSP, and Health Level 7. HITSP has disbanded as the ONC HIT Standards Committee has taken over much of its work. The ISO is an international standards setting organization. Notice that although it is abbreviated as ISO, its name is the International Organization for Standardization. Other acronyms used in discussing health information technology include CIO, CMIO, and CNIO. The CIO is the Chief Information Officer. The CIO is responsible for the health information planning, implementing, maintaining, and controlling of health information technology in the organization. New related jobs include the CMIO, which stands for Chief Medical Information Officer, and the CNIO, or Chief Nursing Information Officer. These are usually clinicians whose job is to be a liaison between the physicians or nurses and the IT staff. HIE is Health Information Exchange. Meaningful Use is commonly abbreviated as MU. VHA is Veterans Health Administration. Sometimes this is just abbreviated VA. The information system in the VA is known as VISTA. Other acronyms used in healthcare include acronyms associated with the federal legislation known as the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act of 1996, or HIPAA. The acronyms include CE for Covered Entity. This is an organization that must comply with the HIPAA rules. BA stands for Business Associate. This is someone who works with a covered entity. A BAA is used for Business Associate Agreement, which is required to assure that business associates take proper responsibility for protecting health information. These are more acronyms used in healthcare associated with the HIPAA rules and other federal rules. CFR is an acronym for the Code of Federal Regulations. These are rules that are published in the Federal Register. IFR stands for Interim Final Rule, which is a version of a federal rule that is sent out for comments before being finalized. NPRM stands for Notice of Proposed Rulemaking and represents the first publication that announces that there is going to be a new federal regulation. OCR is the acronym for the Office of Civil Rights, which has oversight responsibility for the HIPAA privacy and security rules. PHI is the acronym which stands for Protected Health Information, which refers to identifying information about the individual that HIPAA protects. This concludes What is Health Information Management and Technology? In summary, you should now understand many of the terms and concepts used in the health information management and health IT field. You should also understand the terms that frame HIM and HIT practice. And you should be able to describe the hardware and software used in health IT systems. Key points to remember 
are that health IT systems require choices between different types of system networks, application software, and data entry hardware. Finally, you should be able to recognize commonly used acronyms and abbreviations.